what's up guys thanks for tuning into my channel so this is a general reading for Taurus for the month of March so yeah if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel already please subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I post your videos and yeah follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram on Twitter I usually post when I'm done uploading your videos and on Instagram I want to start pulling cards for you guys um you know you guys can ask me some questions or whatever and i'll like pull a few cards and mondays i have started doing sacral chakra meditations like this past monday i um i did a sacral chakra meditation i got some really good feedback and like me personally i had like two healing dreams and i woke up like super horny so yeah something <laughs> something was definitely released from my sacral chakra so yeah, if you guys feel like you could benefit from that, follow me, okay? So, yeah. Spirit, please allow me to tap into the energy of Taurus. So for the first week, first card out, you've got the Six of Crystals. You have the Seeker of Crystals. And you have the Sage of Crystals. All your energy, all Earth energy. So funny. The middle of the month, you've got Luna. The star. And the chariot. So that's all major arcana. Which is so funny. Things are happening. I can feel it in my body. What? At the end of the month, you've got the four of flames. Strength. And indigo you guys have some nice energy here for the month of March like I've seen a lot of struggle for other signs but for you guys it's pretty lit okay so for the beginning of the month you got the six of Pentacles the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. 
So, what I'm feeling from this is that you guys are getting something, getting a return. Or you're trying to get a return. I feel like for some of you guys, this is like y'all doing your taxes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, like, look at how this is like. It's like you're calculating how much money you're finna get back. And you're like, damn, I'm finna be rich. <laughs> That's pretty lit. So yeah, some of you guys are definitely getting some monies. And you guys see that. Or you guys also see that something is coming in for you. You guys just see that something is coming in for you. You see that like what the work that you put in is what you're about to get out. In whatever situation that this may categorize for you. But yeah, you just, you guys look real happy. You guys look real content. Y'all are chilling. Like, y'all are... Like, y'all are not worrying here at the beginning of the month because you know that what you put in is what you're about to get back out. That's really simple energy. I love it. All right, so the middle of the month, we got the moon, the star, and the chariot. But this is, like, all movement forward. This is movement forward. Like, the moon is, like, your emotions. It's also stuff that you don't see. So something could be something that is like um, something that's like elusive to you, something that you don't see right now um, is it's creating itself right now. It's like it's like you're having blind faith in something. That's what I'm getting. You get you have blind faith in something moving forward like you just know that it's about to move forward. You feel it. You know it intuitively. Like you know you're about to get what you wish for. What you prayed for. You're just keeping the faith. And just you know. Moving. As usual. You know just like moving forward as usual. And just like. Chilling. Y'all. Like I just feel like y'all are chilling right now. Like I, I, I just feel that energy. Like it's straight chilling. Venus is really working for you guys this month like <laughs> that's awesome like you y'all's emotions are just like it's cool calm and collected you know y'all are just riding along smoothly on your markaba waiting for your ships to come in basically <laughs> you know what's coming in whatever it is for you guys but it's coming and you feel it you might not see it right now but you feel that it's coming. You feel it intuitively. So at the end of the month, you got the Four of Wands, the Strength card, and Indigo, which is the Magician. Okay, so Four of Flames is basically the Four of Wands. So you've got to be strong in something. This is something that you've created for yourself or something that you have manifested for yourself. And it took a great deal of strength to build this, to build this foundation, this foundation, whatever it is for you. For some of you guys, it's love. For others of you, it's like an actual, like, it's actually stability for you guys. Um, but it's something that you have manifested for yourself. This is a stability manifested for you. And it took a great deal of strength for you to like get it, for you to manifest it. Yeah, that's so simple. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Something so easy. It just came to you so easily. 
something like I don't know. It just came to you like really easily. It's, that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, advice cards. You got faceless ghosts and the haunted girl ghost people. Lady with the Bosch egg, ancient wisdom. And winged seer, you see clearly clairvoyance. Okay, winged seer. Your clairvoyant ability is being enhanced by the winged seer. You may be able to tune in and remote view, almost be able to see behind doors and into rooms and receive messages that let you know what someone is doing without you actually being there at the time. And all of these experience will, experiences will either empower or scare you. You've been asked for more, you have asked for more information, asked to discover what you need to know now that the information has come to you, you must, courage, you must be courageous and take action on what you cannot logically explain. It's important now more than ever to be honest about what you can see, but most of all, to be honest with your own self. So yeah, I definitely feel like y'all's clairvoyant energies have picked up, especially in the middle of the month. Um... It's like you guys feel something coming and you know it's like really positive. So Lady with the Bosch Egg Ancient Wisdom. It may feel that you're receiving wisdom from ancient sources and that some of its energy may feel unfamiliar to you, even dark. It's likely that you are receiving messages from times when people like you, misfits and mystics, were oppressed and punished for their natural gifts. Explore at this time something to do with the Renaissance, medieval times, or ancient Egypt, and understand that the knowledge was brought through to you. A very fortunate being living in this, in very fortunate times. Keep it safe. Learn all that you can. Explore esoteric symbology, the, the history of magic and spirituality. Know that while you are safe, you may wish to keep silent about certain pro um, certain practices. So some of you got you guys could be dabbling into the esoteric, which is pretty lit. Okay, card number thirty four: faceless ghosts and the haunted girl ghost people. You may seem in need of help to people who actually have an agenda at the moment. People around you are acting like experts and supporting each other in group mindset and wanting you to join them for your own good. Despite your misgivings, they do not have fully informed identities, fully formed identities, or they're too easily taking on the beliefs and ideas of a powerful other. You may be asked to join with others in their beliefs and be alarmed at a mindset and belief system that seems very blank and faceless, devoid of human joy and warmth. It's wise for you to keep your own counsel, remain detached, and wait for the faceless ones to reveal themselves. They'll change even when a more powerful person, when an even more powerful person for them to attach to comes along. Know that until they find their own selves and commit to following that path, they'll be as blank pages written upon by whatever hand comes near them. Do not be like this. Make your own mark in, on this world. There could be imitation taking place where your working ideas and even your personality are being copied too closely so yeah watch out for fakes watch out for fake people guys so other than that y'all are chilling this month and i love it so i love you guys and i'll talk to you later